In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Revit project. And in this part one, we'll start from generating views based on scope boxes and dependent views. Hi everyone, I'm Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, I know my project setup won't match your project conditions exactly, but hopefully you can get some ideas and tools to automate the process. Now, the tools that you'll need are a Dynamo script that you can just uh, place in your Dynamo player and hit play. I'll put a link in the description. And a, a plugin from uh, DRoots called uh, SheetGen. Let's get to work. Now, let me show you my current view setup. I have floor plans organized in working views, of course, and floor plans, finished plans, and ceiling plans. For each one of these groups, I have both overall plans and enlarged plans, each one with a certain scale and view template. And I also have at least one sheet per level and one sheet per group. Now in floor plan, my project is organized in three scope boxes based on three different quadrants, A, B, and C. Now before we start, I'd like us to make sure that the following are in all caps, views, scope boxes, and sheets, and that all the views have a view template assigned to them. For example, we have a one for quadrants and one for overall, and that's for all the views. Now at this point, we're ready to start duplicating our views as dependent. So all we need to do is head over to the DRoots tab and the sheet gen. And you'll see that under view list, there's view manager. And this will allow us to edit our views and organize them. Now, what I like to do is since all our floor plans have level in the name, we can filter out by the word level. And uh, let's expand that. And now that's the reason why the view templates should be assigned because now we can uh, easily order them and everything is tidy. Now let's focus on the quadrant views because they already have that set view template. So we can go ahead and select all the ones that show the enlarged scale and it's all these. Let's double check. Yes. So see, all these have quadrants and uh, scale 50. Now, what we want to do from here is now that we highlighted them, we can select them with the check mark and under batch action, duplicate as dependent. We have three quadrants and three scope boxes. So we want to go ahead and duplicate, creating three copies. And now at this point, we can uh, execute this. and you see that our views are being created. So let's cancel out and let's verify. So now we have three views or three copies as dependent for each one of these enlarged type of view for all of them. Now the next step will be to rename all these views so that they meet our naming convention. Now to do that, I made a Dynamo script available in the description and all you have to do is um, head over to manage and um, open your Dynamo player. And if you click on this folder, you'll be able to place those scripts within the same folder that you can open with this icon. And then when you restart Dynamo player, you'll see that view rename is available for you. Now at this point you can uh, edit inputs and uh, the first string is the search so we need the tool to search for copy 001 and we want to replace that with uh, capital quadrants quadrant a and then we can hit play and you see that now all these 001 copies are now named as quadrant A. So let's go ahead and do that for all the other ones. So 002 would be quadrant B. We can hit play. And then 003 would be quadrant C. Perfect. 
So now that we have all the views renamed the way we want it, we can uh, go ahead and uh, organize them, you know, finish organizing these views, assigning the correct code box. So let's head back to the DRoots tab and again, sheet gen, view list, and again, view manager. Now let's do the same filter, so level. And uh, of course now we have a lot more views, but hopefully we can do a batch assignment of the scope box. Now, because the original quadrant views were, you know, had this uh, template assigned, uh, all the child views or all, all, all the dependent views have the right view template already. So that's already set. Now all, all we have to do is assign the scope box. So under, you know, let's organize our views. Let's filter out, for example, by quadrant A. And at this point, all we need to do here is select all these and make them all quadrant A as a scope box. And let's execute. Now we need to make sure we clear the, the selection. So I would go ahead and uh, close this menu just to be sure. And uh, let's go ahead and check the view templates here. You see the view template is correct and then the scope box is correct as well. Now let's go ahead and change all the other ones. I'll probably speed this up. All right, so now we have all our views created as dependent and uh, with the right name, with the right view template and the right scope box assigned to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.